Hi. I'm glad we get to spend a little bit of time together on a snowy, cold day. It is winter time, and it, I guess it's supposed to be snowy and cold. And, you know, sometimes you have to stay indoors more than you'd like. Maybe at your school, you're in school some days, and other days it's virtual learning, and you have to wear your mask. And it, maybe it's not as much fun as last school year, I'll bet, is it? So sometimes it's just sort of nice to talk about what makes us happy when, or what makes you happy as a kid. and. We found out from some other books we read that kindness is really important to be happy, being kind to others. And one thing we like, and we know it's important, that, and this is what today's story is, it's okay to be different. You don't have to be like everybody else and wear the same kind of shoes they do or like the same sports or classes in school. Um, it's just okay to be different. So let's read this story and see what we can learn in here and find out. It's okay to be missing a tooth. I know it says tooth there, or two or three. I remember once when I lost two teeth in the front and I couldn't say tooth right, I said tooth. It's okay to need some help. I think, I don't know, it doesn't say here, but there's a dog and she, the lady has dark glasses on. It could be that she doesn't see very well or is, or is blind maybe and the dog's helping her. Look how happy the dog is to be helping somebody. It's okay to have a different nose. See, I have a, my grandmother's nose was really big and it's okay, I loved her. She was a sweet and wonderful person. And it doesn't matter how big your nose is or how little it is, or if, if you're a pink elephant, it doesn't matter. It's really okay. It's okay to be different color, isn't it? And when you look at dogs and cats, look how many different colors there are and they don't care, do they? And if you look at people, we can have different skin colors. That's okay too, doesn't really matter, it's just our skin. It's okay to have no hair. I remember once when I taught, it was sixth grade and there was a girl, her name was Valerie, and she lost all of her hair because she was sick. But the, all the kids still liked her because she was so sweet and kind to everybody and a lot of fun. We felt bad for her, but you know, she had no hair and we didn't care. It's okay to have big ears. Of course, a rabbit's gonna have big ears, isn't it? But if you have big ears or little ears or ears that stick out a little bit, it's okay, it doesn't really matter. They're just ears. It's okay to have wheels. What do you notice about those wheels? That's not a bicycle, is it? Do you know what that is? I bet you've seen somebody in a wheelchair sometime, haven't you? And they're probably in a wheelchair because they can't walk or walk very well. Maybe they'll be in that wheelchair for the rest of their life and maybe it's just for a little while, but it's okay to have wheels. It's okay to be small, or medium, or large, or extra large. It doesn't matter, does it? Gee, one of the best friends I had growing up, he was, I think, a freshman in high school and he was six feet seven inches tall. He was taller than all the kids and he was taller than all the teachers. And it didn't matter, his name was Moose. And he was a great guy and everybody loved him. It's okay to wear glasses. <laughs> a lot of people wear glasses, don't they? Sometimes there were even young kids wear glasses, and that's okay too. It's okay to talk about your feelings. Purr, roar, or even a grr. A grr might mean you're kind of mad. You, purr might mean I'm sort of, maybe I feel okay, and a roar means, I don't know what that means to, to you, but that lion has different feelings like we do, and it's really important if you want to be happy to talk about your feelings and to find somebody who will listen to you and care. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. I bet the macaroni, if you dropped it, would float in the bathtub, wouldn't it? Of course, if it's a bubble bath, you'll never find it, but it's okay to say no to bad things. What are some bad things that you've said no to or want to say no to? You know, you're, if you're a kid and somebody wants to go do something that you know is bad, maybe they want to go throw apples at cars. Um, it's okay to say no to them. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, just say no. It's okay to come from a different place. <laughs> you know, maybe you've seen the movie E.T., where E.T. came from somewhere else, another planet, another world, a long ways away. It's okay. Maybe you know somebody that's come from Africa or it's come from Jamaica or it's come from China. It doesn't matter where you come from. Maybe all that matters is what, what, what kind of person you're like. It's okay to be embarrassed. Have you ever been embarrassed? 
Now I remember once I had in high school and there was a girl I really liked and I finally had the courage to ask her out on a date and we went to a place that had hamburgers and malts and milkshakes and things like that and I can remember spilling the milkshake and then my first date and I was so embarrassed because it spilled down my shirt and everything else but it's okay you know it it was a good date still and it doesn't matter it's okay to come in last yeah, you'd think a turtle would come in last at a race. It's okay to dance by yourself. Do you ever dance by yourself and there's nobody around and there's music on the TV or wherever there's music coming from and you just dance? And you notice when people are dancing, either even if you're dancing by yourself, you're happy, aren't you? It feels good. It's good. It's good for you. It just makes you feel good, doesn't it? So maybe dancing by yourself or with other person is a good thing to do. You'll be happier. And you don't have to be a great dancer either. It doesn't matter. It's okay to have a pet worm. Maybe you've had a pet bug or a pet worm or something before. They aren't really bad. You can pick them up. It's okay to be proud of yourself. I didn't strike out today. Or I got a B on my math test. Or something you haven't been as good at as you'd like. Just be proud of yourself and respect your effort. It's okay to have different moms. And it's okay to have different dads. It's okay if you're adopted. It's okay to have an invisible friend. I had an invisible friend once, one summer, when I'd been a little bit sick and the kids weren't coming around asking me to go play and I couldn't go outside. I had a little invisible friend for a while and we watched a little TV together and read, read together. It's okay to do something nice for someone. Oh, look at that. The cat is going to give some cheese to the mouse. It's okay to lose your mittens. Now, if you lose them every day and your mom has to spend more money, that's okay. But now and then, if you lose a mitten or two, it's okay. It's okay to get mad. Do you ever get mad? As long as you don't hurt somebody or yourself or stay mad a lot, it's okay. We all get mad sometimes. Sometimes adults get mad. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. Like, go get an ice cream cone or watch something you want to watch. It's okay to be nice and good to yourself. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. There are some squirrels that live outside my house and as the weather gets really cold, I notice the ground is frozen and they can't dig the acorns out of the ground to eat them. So sometimes I'll put a little bird seed or something on the ground for them. It's okay to have different kinds of friends. Little friends, big friends, friends with different skin color than you, a friend that's a boy or a girl. It's okay to make a wish. Did you ever wish for anything? What do you wish for? Look at this. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. You know, there's nobody in the world like you, is there? You're the only one of you there is or ever will be or ever was for that matter, fact. And so you're special and unique. And so be proud of being different and, and like it. It's okay. You're, you are important just the way you are. I hope you like this book. This is one of my favorites because sometimes we just need to be reminded we're different. We all are. Everybody is different, and that's a good thing, too. So enjoy being different. Thanks for being with us today and being with here on a cold winter day. The fireplace warms us up, and I'm thankful for that fireplace and all my little friends back here who want to hear the story, too. I'll see you next time we read a book. Thanks for being here.